A a pleasant good day, everyone. This is going to be a recap to our Philadelphia 76ers beating the Pelicans in New Orleans 117 to 97 by 20 when it was all said and done after being tied at halftime. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. Of course, Joe Embiid had 22 points to go along with six and five assists. Their star, Brandon Ingram, had 25 points along with 6 assists and 7 rebounds to go with his statistical stat line. The Sixers in this game, of course, started off pretty good and B went out with the sore knee. The Pelicans, that allowed Brandon Ingram to be able to get some nice drives where... Of course, I watched some of the game back again before I do these videos, and then also watched the condensed game, which was with the New Orleans announcers, where he said nice patience a couple times, which it was by Brandon Ingram, but I don't think he would have got to the rack if Joel was in, in that situation, but that's just me. But they came back, they battled. Joel Embiid then, of course, came back in in the second quarter. The Sixers had a nice run again, and then the Pelicans had a nice run again to counter the Sixers, which was then able to tie the game at halftime. But the biggest difference I take from this game, the Pelicans announcer even said it kind of um, damningly to his team, it, as the difference is, was just the shooting. I mean, you had Furkan Korkman. I'm not trying to overreact to his game because he also ran point guard a little bit with the two unit because he does that for the Turkish national team. So that's a different element I'm not used to seeing. But I don't want to overreact because we've seen good Ferk before and then we've seen it fall off. So I'm trying to stay like kind of mild manner here with that. But what a game from him, I must say, in the first game at the very least where he's able to drop 22, go 4 for 4 from 3, was seemingly pulling up from anywhere. Also looked a little bit good making that one layup, making that one dish pass. I think it was to Gorgian Yang. And then there was some nice plays there on his passing game that you're not as accustomed to seeing other than probably for the Turkish national team if you're going to watch them. But I doubt any of us really commonly watch them that you're not accustomed to seeing here because he doesn't really run the point. But right now with the way the Sixers lineup is. That's what he was doing a little bit on the second unit, and he did a fairly good job. It was also nice um, to see Gorge Niang in his first regular season game with us drop 11 and have a pretty solid game himself. He was 4 for 5 and 3 for 4 from the 3, so that was very nice to see. And it was nice to see Tobias have a double-double in Game 1 of the season as well. He had 20 points and 12 rebounds, and he also had 10, which is key, I thought, when I saw this, he had 10 defensive rebounds, which I think is really big because obviously you want to be able to get the ball and then push it back up the court. And according to score, he had 10 defensive rebounds, which is absolutely huge to me. And he had a 8 plus minus, which beat Embiid, uh, who for the best of the starters, other than Tyrese Maxey, who had a plus 23 plus minus and was just killing it and had 20 yeah, 20 points himself, excuse me, seven rebounds and five assists. And then just for the hell of it at the end of the game, that's literally what the um, Pelicans announcer said. He said, why not? And Maxie was able to make his threes. So he even got a little bit into that game at the end and went, uh, I think it was two for three. Yeah, two for three from the three-point line. So we saw a great game from Tyrese Maxie, so screw Ben Simmons. And we saw, obviously, a good game from Joe Embiid. And we saw Matisse Thibel do what we put Matisse Thibel in the game for. He had a good defensive steal there when I think it was Ingram didn't give it up when he got back, stole the ball, and pushed us back the other way. So he's doing the stuff you want him to do. Obviously, he didn't get on the score sheet minus, I believe it was two points. Yeah, two points, but he was playing the defensive game. You want him to play. Ferk showed up. Uh, Andre Drumming only scored six, but was the rebounding menace you expect him to be. He had 17 rebounds and was an absolute baller. There were 15 of them being defensive rebounds, which is huge, because again, that gets the ball, pushes you back the other way. And the Sixers did a great job in transition yesterday, whether it was making a three-pointer, or whether it was actually going to the rack and being able to get a point. Joel Embiid had a very good game, and he would have had a better game if he didn't have that knee soreness and was out for a little bit during the course of the game at the end of the first and then through part of the second there. He would have had a better statistical stat line, but he had a very good first game. Gorge Niang had a very good first game with the Sixers. Furk had a very good first game of the season, which is very good to see. So you had a lot of stuff to build on. Seth Curry made a couple threes too, and then... Five will play the defense we wanted him to play. And then Andre Drummond also 
he played the game we wanted him to play. It was a rebounding menace. So everything you wanted to see in the first game was what you wanted to see from the Ben Simmons Sixers team, which is more fun to watch because of the the uh, mantra with the team and the chemistry and the vibe around the team without Simmons. Obviously, if you have Ben Simmons playing at his best, like Tyrone Johnson, 90 for one, and all the great outlets here have talked about for preaching for the last week, the team's not going to be better without Ben Simmons, but they will be more fun to watch because you don't have a guy that's bringing everybody down, bringing the morale down. And that's just not something you want to have around the team. you got guys that are pushing everything for each other. You see Maxie out there who already plays like a very good playmaker warrior for his team, and that's what you love to see. Uh, you see Thibel when he's not even scoring, still making those great defensive plays, which is what you put him in there for. And you see Drummond bullying people, getting rebounds, and then helping to then push the play back the other way with his 15 defensive rebounds. And then Tobias had 10, which was great to see. So this is what you want to see in the first game for the Sixers. It was exactly how you wanted to see them close out the game. The bench was also part of the difference. And obviously when they came in in the first half as well, before the Pelicans were able to make the run at the end of the Um, second quarter, the bench was starting to really score, and the Pelicans announcers even pointed them out themselves, that that was one of the differences in the games, plus the shooting of our Sixers at the three-point line was really a difference in this game, and the defensive rebounding was really a difference in this game to push the play back the other way for us. I hope you all enjoyed this recap of the first game of the season where Philadelphia Sixers Philadelphia 76ers take it to the New Orleans Pelicans 117 to 97 in the end as they're able to pull away in the second half. And personally, I believe if Joe Embiid was in a little bit more in this game and didn't have that knee bothersome, they probably could have took it a little bit to them earlier because I don't know if the Pelicans would have been tied at the end of the first half, but that's just me. So subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content to keep the channel going and growing. Let's go Sixers. Let's keep those winning ways going as we play Brooklyn in the home opener on Friday, October 22nd, which is of course tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. honestly thought that game was at 7, so good to know it's at 7.30 p.m. Again, if you enjoy the content, subscribe up above or down below. Peace out, everybody. Let's go Sixers.